Okay. Let's do number one. Number one on the alternate activity worksheet. Okay, number one, we're going to divide 2x minus 4 into 6x squared minus 6x minus 12. Okay, as I've told you guys, we always worry about what the first one divides into the next one. Headphones up, please. So I want to know what I can multiply 2x by and get 6x squared as an answer. And since I have two terms here, I know when I multiply through by whatever I put right here, I'm going to put it above the second one. If there were three terms here, I'd put my, whatever I get above the what? Third one. So right here, I'm going to put whatever I can multiply the first term by to get the other first term. So 2 times what is 6? Everybody understand that 2 times 3 is 6, right? Everybody with me? X times what is X squared? X times X is X squared. If you did this correctly, when you multiply this times this, you should get the exact same thing, should you not? Now, here's where people get confused. Understand, once again, that when I put this up there, what I put here is basically what 3X times 2X minus 4 is, in parentheses. You distribute whatever this is through times the 2x and times the what? Negative 4. So what is 3 times negative 4? And then I have to bring the x along. Everybody stop writing for a second and make sure you understand. Do you guys understand how I got from here to here? Are we okay? Okay, now, like when you are what? doing regular long division, what do you always do here? You subtract whatever you got as an answer, right? This is no different. It's just that you change, subtract that, but you also subtract the other. So that becomes, you're subtracting that, so this becomes a what? Positive, does it not? If it helps you, I'll, I'll do this. Leave that as a negative, cross it out, and say now it's a plus. See here we change the sign because we're subtracting? And if you did this correctly, shouldn't this be 0? But we do get something here. What do you get? What's my next thing to do? Bring down whatever the rest is. In this case, it's only one more thing. So what do I put here? Negative 12. Now, once again, what I put here, what do I look at? What term? The first terms. First term there, first term there. 2x times what will give me 6x? So it's a positive 3, so I'm going to put plus 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and then I have to bring the x along, don't I? What else do I have to do now? 3 times what? I have to multiply the 3 times the 2x, but also the 3 times the negative 4, which gives me negative what? Now, when I change the sign here, that negative that becomes a negative, and this becomes a what? Now when I add them together, what do I get? Both of them add to zero. So is there a remainder here? So when I go back to my worksheet, what am I going to put as the answer for number one? That's your answer. That's what that divided by that is, 3x plus 3. Okay. Let's do number seven. Now, when there's a missing term, what do I put? 
So 0x minus 4. What goes what times what is that? Remember, I'm looking at the first terms. What can I multiply x by to get x squared? x times x is x squared. What else do I have to multiply, though? x times what? 2, which gives me a positive what? What would I do now? Guys, I'll freeze this and leave this up to everybody watch. What would I do now? What does this become? Negative 2x. What do I do? X times what is negative 2? I get negative 2 what? X is an answer. But what do I have to do? Multiply here too. Change the sign, what do I get? So what's your answer for number 7? X minus 2. That should get you started. I'll freeze it. Of course, I wrote it up here very big so you can see it on the board. I hope you guys can write smaller on your paper. You will have the remainder, right? Yes, you will on some of them. Whatever's left over, you write R and then write whatever's left. 